Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and today we're going to be talking about Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. And I absolutely love this movie, and I love how it showed us Donna's past, and how she made it on the island, and how she met Harry, Sam, and Bill. And I love all of that. It showed us basically all of Donna's life, except from one thing it didn't show us is how did she die? So today we're going to be working out that. Like literally the entire movie is surrounding about how Sophie and Sam and the rest of the main characters are surviving with the death of Donna but they never actually mention not one bit throughout the movie how on earth she died. So before we work out how Donna actually died let's just work out why on earth the actress who plays Donna Meryl Streep wasn't in the movie that much and the reason for is that Meryl Streep never wanted a major role in the second movie and up until now she's never done a sequel. She is a very famous actress and is likely to turn down things she doesn't want to do and she didn't want to keep dancing around and jumping off cliff tops like she did in the first movie. Not that she didn't enjoy it, it's just she didn't want such a major role and you also have to remember that she's 69 now and she was 10 years younger when she did the original Mamma Mia. But Meryl Streep still wanted a role in the sequel somehow, so the writers had to create a story where Donna wasn't actually in it. So they decided to kill off the character Donna and create a prequel about that character. And Meryl Streep was happy to hand over the role of Donna to Lily James. So that's the reason why the writers killed off Donna, but let's now work out how Donna actually died. Now, before I said that the second movie didn't tell you anything about how she died, but that's not actually true. The second movie actually tells us loads about how on earth she died, but you just don't think that it's telling you that. Let's take the scene where we actually see Donna in the second movie as an example, where Sophie can only see Donna, but it's sort of like a ghostly version of Donna. Notice how there's no exterior injury wound marks, meaning she died from something within instead of being attacked. Also, we know that Donna didn't die from old age as the life expectancy in Greece for women is around 83.5 and we know that Donna was definitely not 83. So we know she didn't die from old age and that it was something within so I decided to search what the most common deaths are in Greece and this is what I found. So this is a list of the top 10 most common deaths in Greece and one of them sounds exactly like the way Donna would be able to die and that is COPD. COPD if you don't know stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and it is a term used to describe progressive lung diseases. The most common symptoms of COPD can be different for each person, but the most common symptoms are increased shortness of breath, frequent coughing, increased breathlessness, wheezing, and tightness in the chest. Notice how shortness of breath seems to come up quite a lot, and one of the lines that Rosie says in the first Mamma Mia is related to shortness of breath. Ladies and no gentlemen! Presenting for one night and one night only because that's all we've got breath for <laughs> As you can see from that Rosie says they can't do more than this due to shortness of breath Which is one of the symptoms of COPD now Donna could have died from emphysema Which is classed as a part of COPD and can be brought on by asbestos and asbestos used to be used in buildings for insulation and fireproofing Asbestos releases fibres that when breathed in can cause serious problems such as emphysema. Emphysema is a lung disease that causes shortness of breath. Like I said before, Mamma Mia Here We Go Again actually tells us more about Donna's death than you think. And I'm going to split Mamma Mia 1 and 2 into three different parts. So the prequel, which is in Mamma Mia Here We Go Again, and uh, then Mamma Mia 1 and then the present events in Mamma Mia 2. So prequel Mamma Mia 1 and Mamma Mia 2.
We know that asbestos is in most old buildings, and we know that in the prequel, Donna gets given the farmhouse and tries fixing it all up. And we know that in the prequel, the farmhouse is literally wrecked. Everything is falling apart, and it's just completely trash. So she tries fixing it up. And we know that there's 20 years between the prequel and Mamiya 1, as in the prequel, Sophie is first born, and then in Mamiya 1, Sophie is 20. So 20 years between the prequel and Mamiya 1. She would have been working on that farmhouse for 20 long years, with asbestos right near her. And we know that she keeps working all the time, as the first song that Donna sings in Mamiya 1, the first line of that first song is of the song Money Money is I work all night, I work all day. I work all night, I work all day. Meaning she literally for 20 years has been working all day and all night on that farmhouse. And in Mamiya 1, even though she's been working on it for 20 years, the farmhouse is still not all complete. In Mamiya 1, it's still breaking apart. Okay, now the thing about the toilet. If it doesn't flush right away, just go and come back in a while and it should... Nothing works around here except for me. I've been running this hotel for 15 years and I have never had a day off. Oh my god! <gasps> Sorry. Even after 20 years, the hotel is still broken and Donna even says that it's crumbling around her. Yeah, well, this is my reality. Hard work and a crippling mortgage. Shoot. And... A hotel that's crumbling around me. So Donna would be working on this house for over 20 years between the prequel and Mamma 1 and she would have then still been working on it from Mamma 1 to Mamma here we go again. So that's over 20 years she has been working on this house with asbestos near her and she would have been breathing in the fibres from it and been getting very ill and gradually emphysema will have started building up inside her causing her to get COPD and sadly die so guys that is how we think Donna might have died if you did enjoy this video then please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure that the bell button's clicked so you get notified whenever we make any new videos and tell us in the field section down below what you thought of this theory if you think that Donna did die because she was working near asbestos for over 20 years and it ended up giving her COPD. If you did think that then please tell us that in the field section down below or if you have any other suggestions about how she might have died tell us all that in the field section down below. And if you want to see any more Mamma Mia videos then make sure you tell us that in the field section down below. And as always we've been here on Gate of Theories, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.